Can you imagine a car that costs just $2,000? That's the price of a new smartphone. But in China, it's also the price of a new electric truck. Sounds shocking, right? But this truck is not just cheap. It has something special you can never find in any other pickup truck. Not even the thousands or hundreds of dollar trucks like the popular Tesla Cybertruck. In this video, we will learn more about this magical pickup truck and how it can be so cheap. Stick around to find out and don't forget to subscribe. China's Changli pickup truck is like no other. This budget-friendly marvel lovingly nicknamed the F50 has grabbed the spotlight for its unbelievably low price tag. But how on earth does it manage to be so affordable? And is there more to it than meets the eye? Let's peel back the layers and take a closer look. First, it's important to note that only a handful of daring content creators on YouTube have acquired the Changli truck directly from the supplier, Changli, through platforms like Alibaba. Prominent figures such as Super Blondie, Dominic from EbicaSchool.com, Heavy D Sparks, Shooting Cars, and Whistlin' Diesel are among the intrepid souls who've embarked on this unique journey. But here's the catch. Buying this truck isn't your typical vehicle purchase. It comes with challenges and intricacies. Now, when we talk about quality, opinions are divided. Let's be blunt. It might not meet the same standards as vehicles from the big league manufacturers. So, be prepared for some challenges if you decide to plunge. A solid understanding of its specifications and nuances is vital if you consider this budget-friendly option. So, what's the secret behind this stunning affordability? Well, Changli, the manufacturer, is based in China, and they've taken a rather unconventional approach to production. Unlike many other car makers, Changli does everything in-house, from producing the parts to assembling the vehicle. This vertical integration of the production process significantly slashes costs, and that's the secret sauce that allows Chang Li to churn out these trucks at such an enticing price point. But there's a trade-off for this affordability. Chang Li has opted for older technology and lower cost components to keep costs low. You may not find the latest bells, whistles, or premium materials here. When you peek under the hood, you'll notice the implications of this choice. Driving the Chang Li truck is a unique experience, to say the least. It's surprisingly enjoyable to drive. However, it might not be your go-to choice for safety. Some content creators have described it as cramped, implying that maneuvering within the cabin can be challenging. And when it comes to hitting those high speeds, well, the rough suspension might have something to say about that. But don't be too quick to judge. This little champ can easily zip past 25 miles per hour, which is pretty decent for its class. When it comes to the Changli truck, you've got a couple of options to choose from, each with its unique flavor. The first variant of this little vehicle is designed for a more intimate experience, with seating for just two occupants. It's almost like stepping into a tiny sports car, where you and your co-pilot can enjoy a cozy ride that feels like a thrilling adventure. On the flip side, if you want to share the journey with friends or family, a second variant can accommodate up to four passengers. This one comes with two rows of seats, a practical choice for group outings. However, there's a little catch. The back seats are on the snug side, to put it mildly. Those rear seats suit children or smaller individuals who don't mind getting cozy on the road. It's kind of like having your hideaway in the back, although you might not have much leg room to stretch out. So, while the Changli can technically seat four, it's important to remember that comfort levels may vary depending on the size of your passengers. At a mere $2,000, you'd expect some basic features, right? Well, the Changli doesn't disappoint. It comes equipped with electrically adjustable windows, a feature typically found in more expensive cars. Sure, it might not sound groundbreaking, but remember, we're talking about a vehicle that costs two grand. Now, look at the steering wheel, and you'll find buttons for various functions. But here's the twist. They're purely decorative and non-functional. Crafted from plastic, they're a bit like props in a movie. But hey, it's all part of the charm. Moving on the digital gauge cluster in front of the driver is where you'll find essential information, like the vehicle's battery range and speed. It's simple doing exactly what you need it to. Below the gauge cluster, you'll spot red on and off switch buttons. One controls the car's AC, but don't expect a high-end air conditioner. It functions more like a fan. The second button is for switching the external lights on and off. Nothing fancy, just the basics. But here's where it gets interesting. 
a USB port and an SD card slot are readily available. So you can still keep your devices charged and play some tunes on your road trip. Now, let's talk about the central screen. At first glance, it might fool you into thinking it's a touchscreen, but hold on to your touchscreen dreams, it's not. The screen's navigation is controlled by small, tiny buttons below it. They might seem a bit old school, but they get the job done. You'll find buttons for Bluetooth, photos, and most importantly, a standard rear view camera. That's right, this little truck has a feature that some more expensive rides skip. A rear view camera is a valuable addition, especially when considering the alternatives, like other tiny vehicles without windows, that leave you exposed to rain when wet outside. Now, let's shift our focus to the seating inside the Changli. You'll find that the seats are made from fabric, which is quite common in vehicles of this class. However, it's interesting to note that the type of fabric used can vary based on when and where you acquire your Changli truck. Given that these trucks are still in production, Changli occasionally updates and tweaks their design and features. As a result, the fabric material on the seats might differ from one batch to another. It's like a delightful surprise, giving each Changli its unique touch depending on the timing and location of your purchase. The Changli truck is surprisingly spacious and can easily accommodate large items. And it has a unique yet amazing feature that sets it apart from other trucks, a dump bed or body. This feature uses a hydraulic or mechanical system to raise and tip the truck bed. It makes unloading materials like sand, waste, or granite a breeze. It's a practical and convenient feature that adds an element of utility to this budget-friendly ride. Now, let's get to what makes this electric truck tick. It boasts a three kilowatt motor, which powers the rear wheels. But what truly sets it apart is its unconventional use of five large lead acid batteries, unlike the typical lithium ion ones in most electric vehicles. This unique choice gives the Changli a driving range of approximately 80 to 100 miles on a single charge. And speaking of charging, you'll need to set aside about eight to nine hours to juice up the batteries fully. These trucks aren't legal to drive on most American roads. Originally from China, Changli trucks fall under neighborhood electric vehicles. They're designed to assist local farmers in daily tasks, like transporting farm produce, manure, wood, and planting materials within farming communities. You might wonder why you haven't seen these trucks in dealerships or on the roads. Well, that's because they're not your typical road vehicles, but they do serve a unique purpose in farming communities. Of course, more advanced versions of this pickup truck are available from other manufacturers. These newer, larger models offer longer driving ranges and improved performance, but also have higher price tags. One last thing to note is when considering the Changli truck, Remember that the base price of $2,000 might not be the final figure. Buyers have reported additional expenses, like $220 for the battery, shipping fees, and charges for towing the vehicle off the shipping vessel. So, the total cost can climb to as much as $7,000 for some buyers. That's why it's exciting to see a pickup truck like Changli join the ranks of affordable cars. Although it lacks the glitz and glamour of more expensive vehicles, it provides an unmatched combination of price and utility. Remember that it is not a standard automobile and has its unique difficulties. If you want to make a splash without breaking the bank, the Changli could be your vehicle. Will you consider buying such a vehicle? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.